soon it will be some of these other kids' turn to sit in the dental chair. I need a silver though. Silver? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to leave those because it's the last of what he's got. Oh, that's it? He said that he, he needs someone to hold it. Oh, oh, oh. Think, oh yeah. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to hold you. You want to come on this side of me? Okay, okay so that's that. The principal of the school is brother to the woman who owns this property. Since Haitians eat one meal a day and the students had walked at least three hours to get here to our makeshift clinic, the principal and his sister wanted to feed the kids, but of course they didn't have the money. The principal spoke enough Spanish to let me know the situation and then I told Dr. Henderson and his wife Joy and they came up with the money to feed the crowd. Later it would be just as long a walk back to the mountain village where all those kids came from and they would make the walk without complaining. Joy is taking me to meet some Haitian women so I can video record them cooking a meal that she and I paid for. We won't eat it but we each pitched in ten dollars to pay for all the vegetables and fresh seafood that the women bought at the market. It takes a while to walk to the market and bring it back and then to cook it. It takes hours. These people have a cluster of simple houses for their extended family. Some of the family lives just down the road. Mariana is organizing the meal. She has a four-year-old boy somewhere in the neighborhood. Someone's watching him. No daddy around though. The women and men are not very good at building good relationships with each other. These folks can't usually afford a meal like this. Rosemond, one of Mariana's sisters, invites me to shoot some video of her house. She's thinking that Americans might see the video and donate money to remodel it. I asked Joy to let the ladies know that I was on business and that any money I gave them for cooking food or shooting video of the houses was for lessons for my students. Still, word got around really fast that I gave Rosemond two bucks to film her house and soon other family and friends wanted me to film theirs. Two dollars is a lot of money to them for a few minutes of video. Rosemont was overwhelmed with gratitude and happiness by the two dollars. 
Actually, I gave her three dollars. She said it helps pay for her son's schooling. Oh! Now, think about rain and insects. Some pieces of limbs for burning in her kitchen stove. Some cement mix. <laughs> There's the Haitian broom. Mariana uses it to sweep the chicken poop away from her cooking area. All during my time on the island, I was stepping on uneven ground, lots of stones. It was hard to shoot smooth video, but I knew you'd understand. <laughs> then we were off to another home so a friend or family member could get their two dollars. <laughs> What am I seeing here? Is this place is, uh, is this a place where houses used to be? No, this is a banana uh, uh, garden, basically a banana field. And these banana rocks, banana trees. These rocks just happen oh. to be here. So what happens is when someone wants to build a house. The truck will come and just dump what they paid for. But oh. if they don't have money to pay for more, you know, to continue building, it just sits there. <laughs> 